Oh, anampelekea guo. I could imagine what she felt when she, she left her son in Shiro. Ninafikiria vile alivyofikiria wakati alimwacha mwanake pale Shiro. It was not very sweet. Haikuwa tamu. Because she did not have other children. Kwa sababu hakuwa na wana wengine. But she had vowed to give him to God. Lakini alikuwa ameweka nadhiri kumpeana kwa Mungu. But there are some words that Eli used to tell them. Lakini kuna maneno ambayo Eli alitumia kuambia. When they gave their gifts, walipopeana vipawa vyao, Eli could say, Eli alikuwa anasema, May God do this and this and this. Na Mungu afanye hivi na hivi na hivi. In Christ you and give you even children. Akuongeze na hata akupe wana. I don't know how many years. Sijui ilichukua muda wa miaka migapi. But they continued. Lakini wakaendelea. Later, baadaye, the words of Eli Maneno ya Eli were fulfilled in the lives of El, uh, Hannah and Elkanah. Yalitimizwa katika maisha ya Eli na Elkanah. And he had ya Hannah na Elkanah. He had other boys and girls. Ah uh, kukawa na vijana wengine na wasichana. Let us put our lives in that life. Hebu tuweke maisha yetu katika yale maisha. Are we discouraged in life? Je, tunashushika katika maisha? Are we going through a certain pain? Je, tunapitia katika uchungu wote? Before you condemn the pain, kabla haujakemea ule uchungu, check whether God is in that pain. Angalia kama Mungu yuko katika ule uchungu. And he wants you to he wants to elevate you to a certain level. Na anataka kukuinua ufike kiwango kingine. So don't call the devil where the devil is not. Kwa hivyo usiite shetani mahali ambapo shetani hayuko. Apply perseverance ukawe na uvumilivu and wait upon God. Na ukamgoje Bwana. And God will fulfill his purpose in your life. Na Mungu atatimiza kusudi lake maishani mwako. We have just sung about Jesus Christ. Tumeiba wimbo kuhusu Yesu Kristo. We know he was in the garden of Gethsemane. Tunajua alikuwa katika shamba la Gethsemane. He really prayed. Na kaoba kwa dhati. Remove this Niondolee kikombe hiki. But God did not. Lakini Mungu hakukiondoa. Because it was not his will to remove. Kwa sababu hayakuwa mapenzi ya Mungu kukiondoa. So some things we must go through. Kwa hivyo lazima tupitie mambo mengine. Let us pray for strength to go through. Hebu tuombe Mungu akatupatie nguvu za kupitia. But not to pray that it may be removed. Lakini sio tuombe tuondolewe. And we will see God. Na tutamuona Mungu. May God help us. Na Mungu atusaidie. Stand up and clap our hands. Tusimame na tupige makofi. As we invite the bishop. Tudapo mwalika askofu. Amen. Haya haya. Mutamada. Haya leo kama sasa kumwambie wewe ni mtu wa manda sana. Yaukia watu watatu, watu wainne, watu watano. Tukiba wimbo unaenda washroom na alafu unakibia unakibia washroom na alafu unakibia unarudi haraka 2 minutes Patia If you are going for washroom you better go as you are washing God Kama unaenda msalani you, and you go quickly Kama unaenda msalani uende saa hii kisha urudi Chotaka ni we Ni we we tu Na chotaka ni we Ni we we tu Haja ya moyo wangu Ni Yesu ku Haja ya moyo wangu Ni Yesu ku Na chotaka ni we
Thank you for enabling each of us to be under your feet this morning. Our heart is after you, Lord. We are hungry and thirsty for you, Jehovah. Lord, feed us from the manna from above. Thank you for your love which you give us through your Holy Son, Jesus. Lord, we appreciate that deep love. Minister to each of us this morning as we continue to be in our business in our life. We pray this prayer believing and trusting in Jesus name. And everybody say amen. amen. And a big celebration for Jesus. Turn to a neighbor and to a neighbor neighbor I want to prophesy to you this morning. I say turn to your neighbor and to your neighbor I want to prophesy to you this morning. That you are here in Muranga for God's business. You are here for God's business. And a big celebration for Jesus. Thank you. You can have your seat. Let us also again appreciate our praise team. I always appreciate God for their sacrifice. Because most of them we are together in lunch hour at Kanor every day. And I know it is not easy. To be committed for one week in one place is not easy. It takes the grace of God. And I want to appreciate God for that. I want to thank God for each of you to be the house. Because you could have gone to any other place if you want. Or sleep. But you decided to be under the feet of Jesus. So for you to be here is not in vain. There is a reward for you in this place and your life. 
Kuna malipo kwa sababu yako ya kuwa hapa katika maisha yako. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Let's have hand of announcement. Tumesikia matangazo that uh, we have a very powerful man of God who is coming to feed our heart. Ya kwamba tuna mtumishi wa Mungu wa ajabu ambaye anakuja kulisha mioyo yetu. Bible says let the word of God dwell in you richly. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba hebu na neno la Mungu likae mioyoni mwa ndani yako kabisa. Let the word of God dwell in your heart richly. Na neno la Mungu likapata makao kwenye moyo wako kwa kwa wingi. And so you and me we need the word of God literally. Kwa hivyo mimi na wewe tunahitaji hili neno la Mungu kwa wingi. That's why we have different priests who are coming in this place. Ndio maana tuko na wahubiri wengi ambao wanakuja mahali hapa. Together with me. Pamoja na Askofu. And together with you. Na pamoja na wewe. That all of us we can continue building Remember 6:37 that we are at Kan Hall for morning glory. Ah, uh, kwa hivyo kama uko town kupuka asubuhi then ashara na nusu mpaka saa moja na nusu tuko pale Kan Hall kwa maombi ya asubuhi. 1 to 2 lunch hour. Ah, uh, kuanzia saa saba mpaka saa nane ma um, um, uh, ushirika wa saa ma ma saa ya makuli. 5:30 6:30 that one hour the word of God. Kuanzia saa kumi na moja na nusu hadi thelathini na nusu jioni neno la Mungu. Revival. Uvuvio. That's why today I want to talk about revival. Ndio maana leo nataka tuongee kuhusu uvuvio. At the same times we are we we'll be having our mission in the in the prison on Wednesday. Na vile vile tutakuwa na ile huduma yetu pale prison Jumatano. In the morning all the way to 1. Kuanzia asubuhi mpaka saa saba. Because that's the day that there will be adding the celebration in the whole world. Ndio maana huyo ndio siku atakuwa akimalizia sherehe zao ulimwangu mzima. Because they started on fast. Kwa sababu walianzia tarehe moja. All the way to 8 on Wednesday. Mpaka tarehe nane ambayo itakuwa ni Jumatano. And so you are very much welcome to prison. Kwa hivyo unakaribishwa sana pale prison. To support us. Ili ukuje tushikirie. They went they want so many things. Wanataka vitu vingi sana. So if you have any shop or you have sugar, not sugar, uh, tissue, uh, toilet paper and uh, those things that belong to Adada please you can bring it to us today tomorrow and Tuesday because on Wednesday is when we be going there kwa hivyo kama uko na bidhaa yoyote kama unga mchele na vile vitu vinahitajika na wanawake uvilete hapa mpaka si mchele hapana hizo vitu za wadada vitu vya wa, uh, wadada vile vinatumiwa na wadada so you can bring it today tomorrow and Tuesday unavileta leo kesho na mpaka Tuesday because Wednesday is when we will be going there very early in the morning because there will be a lot of celebration. Kwa sababu Jumatano ndio tunaenda pale kuanzia asubuhi mapema kwa sababu kutakuwa na sherehe kubwa. As they told, told us that they have a lot of activity that will be going on on Wednesday. Tutakuwa na um, vitu vingi ambavyo vitatendeka siku ile kwa hivyo itatubidi tuenda mapema. Actually we are honored. Tumeheshimika because other churches have been going from fast up to 7. Kwa hivyo makanisa mengine wameruhusiwa kwenda kuanzia tarehe moja mpaka tarehe saba. But we are told that we are the people to go and uh, and uh, and uh, celebrate with them the last day. Na lakini tumeambiwa sisi ndio tutaenda pale tukashangilia pamoja na wao Jumatano. And, and that is a, a good honor. Na hiyo ni uh, kuheshimika kwa aina ya ya so please pray for that mission. Kwa hivyo tuombe ile huduma. Support it. Tu, tushikirie. Support it. Tushikirie. And it be good for us. Na itakuwa vyema kwetu. In Jesus name. Amen. Come on. Hard for Jesus for that. Yeah, yes, makofi kwa mambo hayo. You can support through Mpesa or through PayBill. Unaweza kutumia Mpesa ama PayBill kushikiria ile. But right prison. Don't don't just send money. You just write prison mission. Lakini ukituma kwa simu na Mpesa useme ni ya mission ya prison. So that it, we can be able to know the support that we are taking there. 
ili tukaweza kujua kile ambacho kimetumwa kwa ajili hiyo I also want to prepare you Nataka kupia kukutayarisha A big mission we have here in the Mulanga town Abayo mission kubwa ambayo itakuwa hapa Mulanga town in the month of April Katika mwezi wa Aprili We have a team that I have never had in my life Ah kitu ambacho sijawahi sikia maishani There will be 40 days and 3 men Utakuwa na wadada watatu na waume watatu. I say four ladies. Wadada wanne na waume watatu. And these people they have sacrificed one week for us in this church. Na hao watu wametolea wiki moja kwa ajili ya hii kanisa letu. And they told me that they'll come on Tuesday all the way to Sunday. Na wananiambia kwamba wataanzia Jumanne mpaka Jumapili. And they told me that they'll be doing evangelism. Wat, walisema ya kwamba watakuwa wakifanya uijiristi because as a church we want to redeem the well of our fathers in evangelism kwa sababu sisi tunataka kuchimbua tena um, vizima za mama wetu vizima vya baba wetu kwa ajili ya uijiristi and so they are coming here kwa hivyo wanakuja hapa from 10 all the way to 3 every single day seven of them doing evangelism person to person for one week. Wao watakuwa wakianzia saa 4 mpaka saa 9 kila siku wakifanya uijiristi. And they are not paid. Na hawalipwi. I did I did, I did, I did did you get that one? Did you get it? Livi coming from Nairobi from one for one week and they are coming to do person to person for seven good days every single day. Wakitoka wanatoka Nairobi wanakuja kufanya uijiristi wa uh, moja kwa moja kuanzia saa 4 mpaka saa 9 kwa siku kuanzia juma 4 mpaka jumapili. And they are not paid. Na hawalipwi. They have sacrificed their family. Uh, Wameacha families. Sacrifice their whatever they do. Na wanakacha kazi zao. Because they want to need the sab- well of evangelism. Kwa sababu wanataka kujibua tena visima vya uijiristi. I believe that We as a church because we be the host we need to support that mission. Na naona ya kwamba sisi kwa sababu ndio tunawakaribisha tunahitaji kuwashikiria. And on Friday they'll be inviting other team from Nairobi whereby they'll be with us here Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Na juma ndio juma wataarika watu wengine kutoka Nairobi watakuwa na pamoja nasi hapa Ijumaa, Jumamosi na Jumapili. So that to be a very big team. Kwa hivyo itakuwa ni timu kubwa. So I want you to enter to my shoes. Nataka uingie kwenye miguu viatu vyangu. Okay, mzako mwambie wewe ni pastor wa hii kanisa wewe. Wewe ni mchungaji wa hili kanisa. Eh eh mwambie vizuri, sikusikii vizuri, mwambie wewe ni pastor wa hii kanisa wewe. Wewe ni mchungaji wa hili kanisa. Mwambie kwa sauti mwambie wewe ni pastor wa hii kanisa. Basi hiyo viatu uvae. Va hivyo viatu basi. Sasa sawa. So I want you to pray to God. Muombe that God will help you to know how you are going to support that mission iliweza kujua jinsi utakavyoweza kushikilia ile mission the money that god will give you for that mission bila pesa mungu atakupatia kwa ajili hiyo breakfast ulete lunch uh makuli and dinner na jioni and transport na pia nauri so pray and that god you guide you and when you hear the voice of god just put your money in our mpes no not mpes uh, pay bill and the priest right april mission na ukipata pesa itume kwa simu ama kwa paybill na uandike pale ni mission ya april na uandike ni pastor jerry ni pastor kamau ni pastor utieno ni pastor omondi na uandike ile jina lako wewe ni mtu gani yupi kwa sababu wewe ni pastor kwa sababu wewe ni mtu gani na ukiwa msomo mwambie wewe ni pastor wewe ni pastor mwambie hiyo pesa weka kwa paybill na weka hiyo pesa kwa paybill in jesus name Amen. Are we together? Yes. Say 2023. 2023. Say 2023. 2023. You are my ear. You are my ear. Of my redeeming and repossessing. Of my redeeming and repossessing. Say 2023. 2023. Hear the voice of God. Hear the voice. Let's say 2023. 2023. Hear the voice of God. Say more out and say 2023. Hear the voice of God. Hear the voice of God. I am redeeming the well of my fathers. I am redeeming the wells of my fathers. 
the well of 